prior to Rob officially leaving the band in um, 2012, early 2012, I'd needed someone to write with because I was having, you know, a, a quite creative guy, a lot of things pop out. So I'd started actually writing with a guy named Luke Palmer, who's a, uh, you know, part of the DLC family. So I'd been around throughout the This Is The Warning sessions, um, and I'd even played a snippet of slide guitar on a song called Walk. It was probably, you know, the first time I'd experienced that kind of chemistry with someone that I had, like, like Rob and I had. Luke's really easy to work with. Um, he's a brilliant guitar player and he listens to the song, he plays what the song needs. He can't, in saying that, he can shred. He can take a bland idea make it awesome. Uh, and the guy can play anything. Not only is he an awesome player, but has some, some really cool ideas as well. Watching that guy work is, is amazing. The guy is a, a freak of nature in the studio. There's nothing out of his ability range and, you know, just his thought process on working on songs is, is amazing. Totally respect him as probably one of the best rock guitarists in Australia at the moment. He's got this uncanny skill to be able to listen to a piece of music and know what will work and what will fit in and just hear the spaces in sound which is such a skill. When Rob left the band we had two weeks to uh, find ourselves another guitarist. Luke was unavailable to actually join the band due to the fact that um, he was having a baby that was due very shortly and so our legendary tour manager at the time Clint Vincent stepped up. It was a baptism of fire it was like do you want to come to the States as a guitar player for Dead Letter Circus? We haven't got much time, that was basically how it rolled out. Vinny basically spent a week and a half learning all the songs by himself and then we got together for the final week to rehearse as a band. And it looked like everything was going really well. Everything was, it was going too well. We get to the airport uh, and find out that Tom has left his, left, Tom has lost his passport and will not be able to come over to America with us. To compile all the other disastrous things going on in the band at the time, we rolled into America, one guitar short, to debut for Clint's first show with, you know, two weeks notice. It was exciting, it was scary. I remember Stewie and I stayed up all night when we were in America to, to start getting ready and start figuring out how I was gonna, I was gonna get this together to, to pull it off with only one guitar player, so. Over the course of the next two months, we were on tour with Fair to Midland. Um, it just became a seamless transition to clean playing live and it really worked and you know, it increasingly sounded tighter. So when we were right back in Australia, we found ourselves in this strange scenario where, you know, how was Vinny going to go riding? And so we thought we'd give it a go. We got in the room, three guitarists, and amazingly somehow it actually worked. We went from having one guitarist, Rob, to now we have three. We all worked together, at, um, Vinny, myself and Tom. There was this um, great synergy. A team sort of just fell in place and that's, where we, and that's where we took it from there. You're getting this beautiful hybrid guitar machine just creating, you know, layer upon layer of, of great guitar on each track. So on. I, c I couldn't be happier with it. Having multiple minds working on one idea or working on separate ideas and they're coming together to create this album has been awesome because we've been able to create something so diverse which maybe one mind wouldn't normally be able to create. It's become quite a positive um, environment with, um, with the, such a unique um, blend of three different guitarists working together as a team. We just became this unit that could write music. Rewind to a year before, I never would have guessed that that's where we would actually end up in this room with the people assembled writing the new album.